One of the best methods of sampling prey species is through a technique known as line transect sampling. A line transect is a straight line through a forest on which observers walk to count animals on both sides of the line. The technique involves not only counting the numbers of animals seen, but also measuring their perpendicular distance from the transect line. Transects can be simple straight lines that go from point A to point B, or they can take the shape of squares or triangles. The advantage of a triangle or a square is that the field workers come back to the same point where they started. This makes logistics easy, as people have to be dropped and picked up at transects. When designing line transect surveys, it is important to ensure that transects are situated at random with relation to the distribution of animals. If transects are deliberately situated along water holes or salt licks, we will end up with an overestimate. For more information on this, please refer to chapters 9 and 10 of the manual. Line transect sampling can be accomplished using volunteers and wildlife staff, but only after they have been trained properly. Field workers should be trained in the concept and practice of sampling by an expert. In addition to theoretical training, a short stint of field training too is necessary with an experienced instructor. Apart from learning the correct techniques, it is imperative that field workers are able to correctly identify the prey species they encounter. In Asian forests, these might be gaur, sambar, spotted deer, wild pig and muntjac. As we saw earlier, because of trees, bushes and shrubs in a forest, some animals will be seen and others will go unseen. This is not a problem for estimation. However, it is vital that the animals that are seen are counted carefully and the distance from the observer to the animals is measured accurately. In line transect sampling, all animals that are on the line or immediately adjacent to it are detected. But as the distance increases from the transect line, the detectability of animals gets reduced due to vegetation or because animals often blend in with the background. Factors like these are taken into consideration in the scientific calculations that will be used later. Before observers can walk on a transect line, the line must first be marked through the habitat. The line must be straight and can be indicated with the use of red paint on trees. It is important that the observers are able to see the line at all times. The vegetation must not be disturbed too much or cut unnecessarily as that may alter the results of the sample. It is sufficient if there is just enough space for the observers to walk silently in single file. Walking on a transect line needs care. As far as possible, the observers must see the animals before the animals see them. If the animals scatter before they can be detected, it is of no use. So, the observers must wear camouflaged clothes and walk silently through the habitat. Proper footwear is essential for walking in the jungle. Extra protection for the legs can help prevent ticks or leeches from getting on. 
The trousers on shirt or jacket must help the observer blend with the surroundings. A few items of equipment are also required. Binoculars for identifying animals clearly and making accurate counts. A range finder to measure the distance from the observer to the animals. A compass. And of course, one needs a data sheet to note down the observations.